right, cue the music, cue the lights, and cue day for day two of the 12 days of Christmas. Yeah, every night Dave shows us Hello, a guys. fabulous light display locally, and Dave, you're not disappointing tonight, to say the least. No, this is a single family home that is awesome. It's Mike Smith Place out here in Rosemont, and we're going to be COVID safe here, but I, I figured out why you wear gloves during COVID because you get a lot of glitter on your hands. <laughs> wow, we should have thought this through before we tried this, Ken. Let's go ahead and mosey on over here. Mike Smith, we're practicing social distancing here. Yes. How are you? Merry Christmas. I'm doing great. Merry Christmas. Well, thank you very much. I, I love the display out here. You do a lot of this stuff on your own, building all these things. We're going to get into some video and just tell me what can people find when they come out and see your house? A lot of lights, a lot well, of that's hand, true. A lot of handmade items, a lot of antique items, a lot of memorable and things that mean a lot to me that I've had for the last 15 years that I've been doing this. Well, you know, and, and they mean a lot to me too because we had a, a mutual friend and you have some of his items. He passed away, but I have some of his items, huh? Yes, I do. I have an entire section dedicated to Earl Sassman. Yeah, and if people people have been watching our, us do these over the years. Earl's farm was just fantastic. Yeah, it was. It was very inspirational and very meaningful to a lot of people. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing this with us. We're going to come back out here live on a train, which is handmade by you. We'll talk about our weather, and here we go. Great job. Again, it's Mike Smith's place out here in Rosemont. Current conditions, please. Let's see how the numbers are doing as smoke comes out of the top of that stack. All right, we got temperatures in the upper 40s, low 40s, and mid 30s up there in the higher elevations. Let's talk a little bit about our forecast and get on into it. And we're going to be looking right here at, of course, fair skies and fair conditions. We'll widen it out. You'll see some cloud cover on the approach. And that cloud cover, of course, will be associated with our winter weather that will come knocking on the door about 8 o'clock tomorrow evening here in the valley in the form of rain. And we'll maybe get a quarter to a half inch of rain here in the valley before the weekend is done. We'll also have snow in the higher elevations. We could measure it uh, a foot plus at the top of the mountains. Snow levels start out about 4,500 feet. Then they run up the hill with warm air. And then we got another round of wintry weather and wet weather just in time for the end of the weekend. So when we wrap up the weekend, of course, we may have a quarter to a half inch of rain here in the valley. One to two inches of rain on into the foothills. And uh, again, snow 6,000 feet on up for the most part. We got our temperatures back to the 50s. Finally, mid 50s tomorrow. Morning lows in the 30s, so we'll have some patchy areas of frost to get started. And let's go on to the gold country. You're looking at cloud cover on the increase. Everybody's playing the waiting game for wet weather to get in here. Temperatures will be in the upper 40s on into the low 50s. So maybe 48 around Pollock Pines, 54 around Auburn. And as we head on up toward Plumas County, you may already get a little snow knocking on the door toward the end of the afternoon. And of course, up in the Sierra, you're going to see temperatures starting to head in the right direction to get some snow in there. But you're going to have to wait till tomorrow evening for that snow to come on in. Winter weather advisory in place from 7 o'clock tomorrow evening till the early morning hours on Saturday. And we'll probably have another one uh, very much because we have the wintry weather for Sunday. All right, so here you go. Temperatures over toward San Francisco, mid 50s there and a morning low at 46, cloud cover on the increase. Seven day forecast shows you the weekend is a wee bit unsettled, obviously get some wintry weather in here, something else possibly Tuesday and Wednesday. And it's pretty much the same drill for the coast, the foothills and the Sierra. We're gonna end up with a wet weather this weekend and some additional wet and wintry weather for the middle of next week. So come back out here live. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just walk along with this. I'll use this as a, my, my pointer, see right here, these are over the top. These are the drums that he made, and they are over the top. He did a beautiful job on them. But these are over the top of rose bushes in through here. And these are parts and pipes you can get from Home Depot. And I got to tell you, Mike has done just a fantastic job. And if you get a chance to come out here, do it carefully. Maybe just kind of do a little drive-by after you've done your essential, whatever you need to do. But get yourself some Christmas cheer, because personally, I think that's essential as well during this uh, 2020 COVID Christmas that we're dealing with. We toss it back to you in the studio. Tomorrow we're gonna be basically out looking at lights via video because of the lockdown. But if you wanna check this place out on your own safely, go ahead, come out here to the Rosemont area and it's right here on Southport 3400 block. You can't miss it. Back to you guys in the studio. You can tell those decorations really are a labor of love and they're just beautiful. Dave, mm -hmm. thanks so much.